Now 31, similar to example two, I wanna do example three in a couple of ways. I wanna do example three by taking this logarithmic equation and writing it it's in its equivalent exponential form. And then I also wanna just practice some properties of logs. So if I have y equaling log base two of one over 32, I could say log base two of my argument one over 32 is equal to y. And from there, I can write this in equivalent exponential form. So the base of my logarithm will be the base of my power. The logarithm itself will be equal, or will be my exponent, and the argument becomes what this power is equal to. Okay, so I have two to the y equaling one over 32, great. Now for one over 32, I, I recognize 32 is a power of y, I'm sorry, a power of two. Right, this is like saying one over two to the fifth. But because it's in fraction form, I'm gonna swap that fraction out with a negative exponent. And then because both of these powers have the same base, I know their exponents have to be the same as well. So I get y equaling negative five. And really anytime you start to have fractions, it's a pretty good bet that you'll have a negative exponent in there, okay? Now, this is all fine and good. I also wanna work this using properties of logs. So if I had y equaling log base two of one over 32, I could say this was equal to log base two and one over 32 is two to the negative fifth. And we talked about this situation in example two, when the base of your logarithm and the base of your power are the same numbers, and they are in this case, they're both two, the only thing that survives is the exponent. All right, so that's just a simpler way. In my opinion, this version's simpler. If I can just recognize one over 32 as a power of two, then all I need is the exponent on that, and that's what I'm looking for. But you've got two versions, so if you feel more comfortable switching your logarithmic equation into an exponential equation and then solving the exponential equation, great. But the more familiar we can become with the properties of logs and the more comfortable we are with manipulating logarithms, the faster we can get through these problems. All right, so we're gonna try one more, and um, we're gonna try and do it without our calculator, and then I'm gonna show you how you can do it with your calculator. All right, I'll see you in a bit, bye.